Good morning and happy Thursday. First day back at the studio today. My lens is always dirty. Um, and I had a pretty mellow day today. I have one client in for a solid color, one client in for tier one, but that's it. Super chill. Um, so I'm going to, my actually my first client just texted me, she's gonna be early, which is great because I'm all ready. And then I still need to swatch that show me that collection right there spring haze so i'm gonna do that and then i think i'm gonna do some editing today in between that's about it not too much else going on okay how nuts were my client's nails her natural nails that was i think 10 weeks of growth um she usually does that don't recommend it. I recommend two, three to five weeks max. Um, but I think that was 10 weeks. I will confirm and I will put it here if it was not, but I think it was 10 weeks. Um, she had one broken index finger, which she didn't even know. It wasn't until I filed it and started like bending that we figured out it was broken. Um, but otherwise she said she didn't even know it was broken, didn't feel a break. So it was fine. But yeah, that's what happens, I guess, when you leave them all for 10 weeks. Um, but anyways, um, I also got my hair cut yesterday. I feel like extra like 80s mullet curly vibes. It's very cute. I'm going to Maria at Palm Sunday. She is fabulous. Um, I have one more client today, but I have a big breakdown between it's 12.45 and she's not in until 3. So I think I need to swatch that Spring Haze palette as well as swatch out my other collections to put in my swatch books, which I said I was going to do last week and didn't do it. Um, and then I'll probably grab some lunch. I'm debating, no, I was gonna go home between my break, um, but I think I'll just stay here because my day's gonna be short anyway. Is I always use the gel bottle swatch books because they look like this. So they're super easy to see all the swatches laid out and super, I don't know, I, I prefer them to just like swatch sticks. So I have a few of these. I have this one, which is all my um, gel polishes from Sweetie Nail Supply. This one, which the majority is the gel bottle gels with a few like random like things that I've picked up from elsewhere, like Bossy Gel. Um, these ones I forget what brand they are, but I got them on Amazon, that kind of thing. Um, and then I have one more. And this one is uh, airbrush gels, and then I have my chromes, and I have loose glitters all swatched, and then I even have a few of my like little confettis swatched out there so people can see them. But I did get a new book also. And so I'm thinking about making one of the books because I have so many like glitter and like more special effect, um, like cat eye gels and stuff. I'm thinking about making one of the books, all my glitters and stuff that I get from Sweetie Nail Supply. So they're all, all like Korean based brands. Um, I'm thinking about making that and then having one that's all solid. So I'm gonna have to end up separating these into a separate book, which for the most part, like these pop out. So it's super easy to do. Um, and I'll shift those over there. And then I'll have just like a solid gel and like syrup gel section, and then just like a glitter book.
Good morning. It's freezing out. I'm in my big pink puppy girl jacket. I'm like a little, one of those marshmallow peeps, the Easter things. It's like minus 12, feels like minus 19. Dress formally, kids. And beneath it all, 50 shades of gray, outfit form. <laughs> okay, so I just added in the, I opened up my new swatch book, I think it's this one. Um, and I added in the swatches that I had done yesterday. There's the gelato collection and then the show me collection. And then so I've separated it. So this is the original palette. These are all the glitters and kind of like special effects. And then these are the solids. You can see I do have a lot more room. I hope I don't fill it up too fast because knowing me. Um, yeah, I would love to like color coordinate it all. But I feel like that would be a lot, so I don't think I'm going to. Just finished two hours of video editing and voiceovers, and I've about a half an hour until my client gets here, so I'm going to make a quick tea. I have a Size Me Up set to pack and ship, um, and then moving on with the day with the next client. And then I have two clients that should be back to back. And the day is done. I'm feeling a little bit tired. Whenever I have a good amount of time in the day and I just like sit around editing or whatever, I'm always by the end of it like, oh, I wish maybe I should just put my laptop away and just have a quick nap. But I feel like that would be bad news bears. Although maybe one day I'll do it just as a science experiment. Just finished my last client of the day. Very cute set very fun um so i'm just going to get all cleaned up and head on home pat just texted me he has a pizza in the oven i'm very much looking forward to that i hope it's the pizza with the croissant crust um it doesn't actually taste like croissant but it's just a better version of a frozen pizza fingers crossed chilla happy saturday it's another snowy one out there today but it's like cute fluffy snow or at least it was earlier um not that I'm outside in it at all. <laughs> I'm very much in New York at this point. So I'm just getting ready for my first client. Two appointments today. Super mellow. Nothing really to report. Um, although I did place an order yesterday on Jessica Nail Supply for acetone and alcohol. They didn't have the alcohol I wanted, but I just ordered what they had. Um, ordered in the afternoon, received it within like four hours. Shocked. Pleasantly surprised and uh, yeah, wild.
have a bit of time between clients and I didn't have any food so I just popped home for some lunch I'm making some um, Annie's gluten-free macaroni I'm excited um, and then I'm gonna head back to the studio because I have one more client today back in the studio after my lunch which I ate but I was still working I was editing videos I'm having a really hard time not working these days I literally if I'm not here physically doing someone's nails I'm like editing videos editing photos at home, and I just need to chill um, but apparently I'm no good at that anymore, uh, so I'm just gonna, while I wait for my client to arrive, maybe see if there's a YouTube video, I'll just snuggle up in my little chair here and, um, and watch something. Hello, lovely late start to the day today. My first work is at 2pm, which has just been, I mean, nice, A, but also B, um, I'm grateful for it because I had a lot to do this morning. Um, my March appointments went live this morning for my regular clients. They go live tomorrow for everyone else. So I had to get that sorted out. And then I was working on a mystery mani, which I started drawing up last night. It's for my two o'clock appointment today. Um, so I was working on that this morning. I had to edit. Um, I just posted the new jeans YouTube video. So I had to do a, an Instagram edit to post that as well. And my mind was just absolute chaos. So I did a little 20K bike ride after that on my little trainer inside. And here we are, showered and fresh and ready to go. I'm having another coffee. Just two appointments today, but I'm really looking forward to doing this mystery mini. I did it um, inspired by Sandy Liang keychain. This is the first time I'm having this client in, so I'm not sure if they're okay with 3D elements. I'm hoping they are. If not, I've made it in a way that I can make everything flat, just hand paint rather than use charms. But we'll see. I hope they're down for 3D because I want to do 3D. Pretty mellow day today, but tomorrow I'm like 10 a.m. to 9 p.m. Back to back all day chaos. So I'm going to enjoy this chill time and prepare myself for tomorrow. Friday and by Friday I mean Monday because it is my Friday but it is Monday um, I'm just getting ready for the day I have four appointments today one removal one removal with um, a mani so just like plain no gel and then a mystery mani and a tier two appointment so full day looking forward to it I just bumped into my friend Ashley while I was wearing her sweater <laughs> Was fun. Uh, really, nothing so much to report. Just had a little sweetie nail supply order, and I only ordered one thing. Very impressed with myself. Self restraint. Uh, I mean, I have just received a parcel a week or so ago with like three different gel packs. So, do I have self restraint? Not so much. Um, But I finally ordered the Jello Jello Pilaf base coat, which I am very excited about. So if you don't know about this, basically it's a gel base coat and when you're ready to remove it, you use this oil and you put it on the nails and you're able to kind of peel the gel off. Um, and you can do it with extensions, you can do it with everything. So, so here's the box. It comes with the one kill remover which is oil, but it kind of smells like nail polish remover. Let's open it. Ooh, very unique. Yeah, it smells like, not acetone, but a mix of like nail polish remover and oil. I'm curious about that. Probably isn't a good idea to sniff it too much. And then this is the base coat. So like I said, it's gel, so you cure it in the light. And then it also comes with some orange wood sticks. So you can kind of like fry it up a little bit which this all sounds a little bit sketchy because obviously you're never supposed to like pull off your 
nails. Um, and I lecture my clients regularly to do that. But I'm curious to try this out because everyone's been raving about it. I would also love to not have to remove my nails all the time. So I'm not gonna like offer this for clients. Um, I'll probably just use it on myself just so I can change up my nails a little bit easier because if you do your own nails and do your own nail art, you understand you're sitting for like six hours doing your own nails. So I'm trying to eliminate some of that time. Just finished my last of the day. How cute was that set? Um, now I'm just gonna get all cleaned up and go home. I'm hungry. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know what you want to see down below. We'll catch you in the next one.